Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? It is rainy and yucky out. Ooh, so yeah. Uh, that's why I haven't been on for the last few days. It's because I have been in a lot of pain. Um, I'm, it seems to be working with the weather. But it's not just my back that hurts now. It's everything. It's my wrists, my hands, my elbows, uh, my back, my neck, like everything, even my toes, like to try and, yeah. So I may have to call my doctor and get tested for RA. I don't know, but it's, it's weird. It's like even laying in bed hurts, like my back just laying on my skin hurts. So, yeah. I don't know what's going on. Ah, it sucks. <clears throat> but anyway, so that's why I haven't been here. Sorry, guys. Um, and the other reason is I'll tell you about that in a minute. I have a, a couple of more pressing issues to talk to you about. Um, as most of you probably already have seen, uh, Linda, just a crochet sister, had a massive heart attack and she is in need of our prayers. Um, she's out of the hospital now. She's at home. She's still looking rough. Um, I'm really worried about her. So if you can go over and watch her video and give her some yarny love, that would be wonderful. Uh, we, at this point, she really needs to hear from us and tell, and for us to tell her how much we care about her. Um, I, you know, I just, yeah, oh, I've cried a few tears already. So, um, also Judy from Witch Peace Craft, she's having a rough time as well. Oh my God, girl. Like she had a bad fall and she, her face is all swollen and everything. And, uh, and then her dog got into a dog fight. Well, the, the other dog got into a fight with her dog. Her dog didn't start it, you know, and there's just, uh, there's stuff going on in her world right now. So if you can go over to her, um, video as well and show her some yarny love, that would be great. I'm going to leave both of those links down below. Um, yeah. And, uh. Tori from Polly's uh, Crochet as well. She got COVID again. And she's almost finished her um, quarantining uh, or self-isolation. So um, she could use some love too. Uh, yeah. So there it is. I was actually in um, a live that Tori was in, um, I believe it was Patsy's Crochet. Pat, is it Patsy's Crochet that was doing the live? Or, yeah, it was Patsy's Crochet. She was doing the live and I was talking to her and Tori. <laughs> I was telling her what I was, what I'm working on what, right now. And, uh, I did a few misspells and it was hilarious. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. So what I, <laughs> I'm blaming Natalie from Natalie's closet. Um, Natalie was making, I don't even know if I could say this on camera. <laughs> okay. Everybody's probably already seen them, but they're, how do I say this? male appendage pillows <laughs> and booby pillows. <laughs> so, uh, so anyways, um, I showed them to my daughter because I thought it was hilarious. And then my daughter ordered one. Great. <laughs> so I made her one and it didn't take as long as I thought it would, but man, did it take a lot of stuffing. <laughs> um, but anyways, I, at that point I finished the male part and now I'm working on the female part 
And so I was telling them that this is what I was doing and we were laughing about it. And then I said, you know, maybe I, I should put pasties on it. Right. Well, <laughs> uh, but that was after I was trying to say, I was trying to say something to Patsy, but I spelt her name as pasty because I guess I was thinking pasties. And so she was just like, you calling me pasties? Like what? And I'm like, no, Patsy. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> so <laughs> we had a really good laugh over that. <laughs> she was all confused. And then Tori was trying to explain and it was like, oh, it was, it was awful. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm sorry, Patsy. <laughs> really sorry. Oh, but it was a good time. It was a really good time. Um, okay. So I had in that live, I had a couple of people asking me about the, no, mm -mm, Patsy was asking me about the sizing of the Cruella de Vil, uh, sweater that I did the tutorial on. I'll leave that here, here, somewhere here. Um, when you're sizing that sweater, okay, you're going to be sizing it from however long you want it, whether it's at your waist or longer or shorter or whatever. And you're going to take the measuring tape up and over your shoulder and to the back and measure it at the same spot that you did it in the front. Okay. Then you're going to measure from under here, underneath your bra or underneath your armpit across your breasts and to here. Okay. That will give you your width and your length. Okay. Um, so then you just do your, uh, your, your chain that long, that length. But now don't forget, this is blanket yarn. It's going to go whoop, right when you start doing your double crochets. Okay. So, um, just make sure that you give like an inch or so leeway possibly because when you start doing it it's going to be a, like a heavy stitch and it's going to pull and it's going to actually be longer so you got to really watch that with your sleeves so i say to stop like about here stop more up here okay because when you do your cuff like if you stop up here, like the sleeve is going to be, um, just try it on, try it on and see when you've got the sleeve down, try it on because if you don't, and then you go and put the cuff on, you're going to get it to like here. So yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's all I got to say about that. I made a, a new hat. Don't know if you can see the stitches. Um, <laughs> God, I look so funny in hats now. So, yeah, I made that. I don't know if I'm going to do a tutorial on this one, though, because it's pretty basic. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not even sure what did I do on that. Oh yeah. These are just V stitches. So I don't know. <clears throat> it's pretty plain and basic. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to re crochet the hats that are in my Etsy page so that you can actually physically see what they look like. Um, and then you'll know, right? Cause the pictures, I did the pictures a few years ago and I didn't really know how to display them because I didn't, that was, that was kind of before I did YouTube. So I didn't really want to be on camera. <laughs> Let's just say, uh, so yeah, I, um, I may do that. I don't know what do you guys think, but, um, also I, have been told I was told that I can enter a couple of craft fairs this season sort of <laughs> um 
there's a couple of craft fairs that are um it's weird it's really really weird they're saying <clears throat> at this one craft fair they're saying that the vendors don't have to be vaccinated so you can be vaccinated and unvaccinated doesn't matter but the patrons that are coming in have to be vaccinated and have to show their vax card uh okay so yeah i'm a little confused but i'm in <laughs> so uh so that's a four-day craft fair and the second day is eight hours long i don't even know how i'm gonna get through it the first and second the first day i think is four hours second day is eight hours the third day is six hours thursday friday sorry and then sunday i think is four six hours i can't remember so that one's going to be brutal the week after that um they aren't letting any unvaccinated people in the building but they're allowing them outside and it's covered and everything we might have to take a tent i don't know um so that one is a two-day craft fair <sighs> and that's going to be a long one i thought about doing this other one oops sorry i was thinking about doing this other one um it's also a four-day craft fair and because it's in an old sears building it's considered retail so you don't have to be vaccinated but it's 500 dollars to get in that's insane. Um, the one craft fair that the four day craft fair I'm doing is actually $300 to get in, which I think is ridiculous. The other one, because I'm outside is only a hundred dollars. So that's good. Uh, but this one's $500. We've done it once before when they first started and it was actually really good. So I'm kind of up in the air. I don't want to spend that kind of money. I don't know what these craft fairs are going to be doing. Like if it's going to be a repeat of uh, last year where nobody wants to touch anything or try anything on or even come into our booth. I'm terrified. I'm absolutely terrified of what is going to happen this time around. That's a lot of money to lose out on if you don't sell anything. So, um, yeah, I'm just, oh, I don't even know. But we got to try. We have to try something. Um, I can't keep holding on to all this stuff. So if it comes down to it, I'll pitch a, a tent out front of my house and I'll just put it up and say, hey, doing a mini trunk sale or whatever it's called um, and, uh, and see if I can sell something that way. I don't know. So, yeah, so that's why I'm getting all prepared for that now. Stress much? Oh, you know, I always stress at craft fair season. Always. I just stress right out. Ugh. But, uh, yeah, so with the pain and everything that I've been going through, uh, it's going to be even harder for me to be doing these craft fairs. So it's going to be interesting. Thank God I've got George. Um if I, I couldn't do these craft fairs if it wasn't for him, you know, because he does all the heavy lifting and he really helps me out, uh, you know, in more ways than one. Like he's a great seller and he's, you know, he's there for me. Um, so I don't really have to think too much when I'm at the craft fair, but physically sitting there or standing there for that long, uh, it just takes a lot out of me. But, um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Yay. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I just wanted to come on and say, I'm still here. I'm still here. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you or show you. I got the dog blankets done for the RCMP um, uh, canine unit. Now I got to put the... Um, name tags 
on them. I may have to take that in and get them done because I don't know if I can do it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, guys, I'm going to go now and go finish my pillows. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I love you all. I would talk to you. Go, go over to those, um, those channels, please, and, and give some love, please. They need it. Okay, I love you all. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, so I'm in my car and I'm getting ready to go to the post office because I was commissioned to make a pillow. <laughs> and now I have to mail it. Can you guess what it is? It's going to be interesting to see, see the look on their face at the post office. <laughs>